as a tree has been brought into effect, barring excessive drinking while at the helm. There is something moving over there in that haystack. Sit back down. We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. No, no, this time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm tired of your jokes. This isn't funny. I couldn't be killed. By rats. You don't take our work seriously. One misstep. One time you turn your back in the wrong direction, and you're dead. Because of rats. I'm not going to explain myself to you anymore. Please, don't stop. This is so entertaining. Please, come back. <laughs> Run faster! Leave me alone! Run faster! Leave me alone! Run faster! Leave me alone! Run faster! Run faster! Leave me alone! Run faster! Leave me alone! Run faster! He's not going to get me. Guards! Two arms! Two arms! We're under attack! Guards! Kill the assassin! Ugh. <laughs> 
same He's bolting! Stop him! <laughs>
I have served dupes, princes, kings. <laughs> I don't... Thank <laughs> you. 
Republic extends sympathy to the families of... Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Buon viaggio! Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. I suppose you only appear to be calm. Come, friend, see the difference. Bring me your sick and wounded. I was only the finest whoop. No offense, but I didn't think you had them on. Who need aid? You 
should feel better now, but take care in future. Is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. But I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha, this one's quite complex. Hmm, it's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Ma certo. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... a uh, uh, mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district. To the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way. Yes, sister. And Ezio, you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? I may be a bit disorganized. 
Extending the warning to all visitors to the most serene public is the Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come! Join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Come any closer, or I will carve up another one. Don't make me kill again. Upon you and guides your hand. Continua così. Grazie, amico. Have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. 
How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> Whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Signori, signori! This... <laughs> Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies! Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Lovely this afternoon. yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time.
next. Step. Welcome. Benvenuti. Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. You are now one step closer to the grand prize! Are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times and the golden mask may yet be yours.
We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory! And John Benvenute Lottatori. The game is simple. There's only one rule no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? This one thinks himself some kind of campion. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. So that's how it's going to be, eh? of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro! Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. Sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting culo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. 
They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my speed. Only in a height of action, he's only strength. In my shot. Buonasera, signore. We made it. Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. My brother embarrasses himself for this display. You have no right to speak of him that way. He's the Doge. He is Doge in name only. And it's Venetian money he spends. There are larger things at stake, and you know it. Marco was the one chosen to leave. Your father may have thought he'd never amount to much, may have foisted his political ambitions on him. But it doesn't matter, does it? Given where things stand. I never wanted to be Doge. Then it seems you have succeeded wildly. Power is... Find him. Look 
like one. Yeah. How will I survive? Root! Those muscles. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! It's not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. We can try it. We'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it! Your pistola! The one you stopped the murderer with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I like the way you think. So. Oh, don't, don't worry! No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Che la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. That's a fantastic Exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. 
Oh, that can be arranged. Girls! Mm. <laughs> <laughs>